This is the story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is, he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit in, but it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! It's Sunday, and Roy's grandparents have arrived for an O'Brien family Sunday roast. Ma, that meat looks a bit manky. Becky's gone vegetarian, so I'm trying something new. Not loaf. Now here, I've heard everything. And now a vampire vegetarian? Meat is murder. Your head is murder. Roy, will you show your sister a bit of support, huh? Sure, she'll only be a vegetarian for a few days, at most. <clears throat> She'd be munching chops by the end of the week. <laughs> that looks lovely, Maura. Thanks, Ma. Oh, come on, Ma. Let the freak eat squirrel food if she wants. Can we have some sausages instead? <laughs> Why did you do that thing, Nan, with the salt? Spilled salt brings bad luck. So if you throw some over your right shoulder like that, it cancels it out. There must have been a salt truck turned off when she was born. You're a pig, Roy. Grand, you can't touch me then, cos you're a vegetarian. There's nothing wrong with vegetables, Roy. They put hairs on your chest. Ooh, who wants hairs on their chest? Just an old wives' tale, Roy. <laughs> Why become a vegetarian? Well, if you've had your head under a rock for the last 20 years, and don't know why, I'll tell you a few good reasons. It's the healthier option. It's good for you, your digestion, and also provides a high fibre diet. You know, keeps you regular. Yeah, you can, you can really taste the, um, nut. Mm. Me and Becky, me eat rabbit food. Stop it now, Roy. Uh, uh, the wind will change and it'll be left like that. Oh, Rose. That. You're filling his head with nonsense. Nonsense is that you're far more superstitious than me. I am in me hat. I'm a man of science, I am. Science? Sitting in front of the telly watching documentaries, is that what you mean? What's that supposed to mean? Uh... My face! Roy, I've had enough of your messing for today. Snap out of it now. Uh, uh, I can't. No, my face. Roy, stop acting the agent. and age your day now, will you? Da, I'm telling you, it's really stuck. It's been ages now. My face is still stuck. <sighs> This is stressing me out loads. Oh, should I stay in bed? Oh no! The school photo! Nah, nah, it's okay. I'll be fine before then. <laughs> A beautiful friendship! <laughs> Don't worry. See you 
bed. Have a good night's sleep, Rye. No, You'll be no, right no. as rain in the morning. You're flipping well, hope so. Ah! Seagull, perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> What's supposed to be looking, you know? Just get in the car, woman. Oh, this is mad. What if we don't get better by the morning? What if we never get better? The next day. No! That'll be Roy up then. It's worse. It's not that bad, love. It actually looks a lot better than last night. Defo! <laughs> Here. Get that inside you. Roy, your man's right. It's not half as bad as you think it is. <laughs> At least it's not nut roast. I can make you lose the grain. Ow! Roy, eat your breakfast. <laughs> Mom, please. I can't go to school like this. They think I'm a freak. Listen, I can't even speak proper. You're not missing school, Roy, and that's it. No one's going to make a big deal of it, love. Of course not. It's barely noticeable. Come on, Ma, please take me to Dr. Rashid. The class photos tomorrow morning, and I don't want to look like a spanner. It's got to be up on the wall in the hall and everything. People will be laughing at me for years. I'm just after fitting in with the rest of the lads. Come on, Ma. Please? Look, I'll take you to Dr. Rashid's tonight if it's still not right, yeah? Ah, uh, ma, how a heart, will you? Please, can't we go now instead? What if it takes ages to fix? School. Now. Oh, you the face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads, that's it. I've had enough. That's one heck of a winning grin you got there, Roy. How did it happen? Well, the wind changed and it got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roy, that old superstition. Ah, you sound like me, Granda. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the wind did change it like that. <laughs> what has you in such a good mood, freak boy, Roy? Take your seats. Kathy, Jack, Tommy, Connor, Sinead, come along. Give us a smile, O'Brien. Don't you have a broom to catch? Hey, Roy, you look like a painting a Picasso. It's Picasso, idiot. Whatever. Oh, nut loaf. Oh, that looks like it came out of the wrong end of a cow. Tastes like it too. You deserve a medal after eating something like this. Oh, what am I gonna do, lads? I can't go into the photo looking like this. Sure, it's not that bad, Roy. You could have a face like Hamo. Things could always be worse. Yup. Oh, I'd do anything to get me all face back, lads. And all the smiling is starting to hurt a lot. I have an idea, lads. If the wind did change his face, maybe he can change it back. Three orderly lines here. 
Straight lines and no talking, all right? Is that straight? Ones, twos, threes. Okay, the object of this game Free is to point. score as many goals as possible. So you think that's funny, Mr. O'Brien, do you? It wasn't me, Sean. It was Cathy. So why are you grinning like a Cheshire cat? It's me fell, Sean. I have a note from me ma. To whom it may concern, please excuse Roy as his face is temporarily stuck. Very funny, Mr. O'Brien. Well, you can take your comedy act and your badly forged note to Mr. Hammond and see if he finds it as funny as I do. Go on. All right, class, put the balls on the ground. Here we go. Sit, O'Brien. Here you are in my office, yet again. Let me see this note, then. I'll soon wipe that smile off your face, O'Brien. Oh, I'd really love that, sir. Right. Every piece, O'Brien. Every piece. Hello, Mrs. O'Brien. Yes, Derek Hammond, Valley Ferman School. I'm afraid I'm phoning yet again in relation to Roy's behaviour at school. Indeed. I'm afraid not only was he disrupting his class again this morning, but far more seriously, he forged a note with your name on it. Now, as you know, in this school... I beg your pardon? No, 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 there's no need to come into school to sort this out, Mrs. O'Brien. I am truly sorry for suggesting your handwriting was that of a ten-year-old. Goodbye. It appears his visage has actually frozen. Yeah, it looks like that. I don't know if my forced aid qualifies me to deal with things like this. Hello? I'm still here, you know. Sorry, Roy, love. J do you mind if I... Oh, yeah, yeah. We're okay. It might be contagious, sir. Why don't you just send me home, just in case? Nonsense, Roy. This is purely cosmetic. But, sir, I'm not wearing makeup. Honestly, it's really, really stuck. Here goes. Ah, oh, there you go, Roy. Perfect. <laughs> There, there, Roy. No need for that. Uh, keep a stiff upper lip. <laughs> the picture's gonna be up on the wall. With everyone looking at me, I'll be stuck like this forever. A freak! Fine. I'm writing you a note. Give you something to laugh about. Come here! Ma! Come here. I 
have a head on me like a disaster movie. How come you're home from school so early? <sighs> See, I told you, Ma. You have to bring me to the doctor and get me head fixed. I'm going beyond the joke now. Oh, I'm on the school photos tomorrow. And Harold says I have to be in it. I just want to be normal, fit with the rest of the lads. Oh, oh, I'm going to look like a muppet. All right, calm down. We're going now. I ring Grandad to pick us up. The family are on their mercy mission, but is something wrong with Grandad's exhaust? Oh, I can smell it. Something I've got awful indigestion oh. since last Sunday. Sorry, folks. <laughs> hey, with the window down too, we'll see if the wind changes. Might sort dry before we get to the doctors. There's enough wind coming out of you to do us fine. You've changed your tune. You refuse to even walk under the ladder at the shops this morning. That's just pure common sense. I didn't want anything to fall on me, woman. <laughs> it's not like I was reading tea leaves. <laughs> you drive me flippin' mad. And I love you too. you can give him, Doctor? Well, to be honest, it's the first time I've seen anything like this. Again. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could give Roy something to relax his muscles, but... <sighs> I'd rather not, just in case. In case of what? Well, I mean, you know, he's rather unique, and we don't know how he'd react exactly. I think it's best if Roy just waits this one out. OK. Do you know, I think the whole frozen face thing... The stress and anxiety of that is probably mm. what's exacerbating it. So he just needs to take it easy for a while, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you'd be amazed. A warm bath can do wonders. Right, why don't you try just not thinking about it for a while? Are you serious? Why? Ah, please, Doctor. I have a school photo tomorrow. I can't go in looking like this. Can you just give me them tablets to fix it? OK, Maura, I want you to use these as a last resort, OK? Only if the bath and taking it easy fails to work. Oh, thanks, Doctor. All right? You're very good. Thanks a million, Doctor Rashid. Relax, relax. What kind of voice is that? Carroy. No, Ma. Carroy. No, Ma. Carroy. Now. OK. <laughs> Please, Ma, can I have them tablets? Relax, love. Just don't be thinking of your face. How can I not think about my face? What are you telling me not to think about my face? No, I'm thinking about my face! <sighs> oh, well, why don't you just read some comics or play some computer games? Yeah. Please, please, tablets. Enough, Roy. What about that idea of a nice warm bath? Oh, tablets! That's right. Tablets! That's right. Please! That's right. Tablets! Now! Okay. OK, come down, so. Ma, I think I'm a bit warlogged. I look like one of them pugs. <laughs> You're nearly there, love. Just another minute or two, yeah? Ma, please. The photo's in the morning. And I'll do the washing up for a year. I know, love. Look, I'm putting on the dinner now, and if you're still not right after dinner, you can take the pills then, yeah? What's for dinner? I'm starving. Uh, the rest of the nut loaf, love. Oh. Yeah, I know, love. 
Look, I'll make an apple tart for her after. Oh, deadly fuss. You look much better. Mm? No. Becky, you go down to the shops and get some sugar. I'm making an apple tart. Can't, man. I've got my piano lessons in ten minutes. Right, we have to go up so, love. Ah, oh, come on, Bex. It'll only take a minute or two to walk up to the end of the road. I don't want to go out until my face is, like, you know, fixed. No, can't you, Smiley? Sorry. Roy? So, you are going to shop this for me? No. But we can't have you looking like that. Come here and I'll help you just a sec. much better. Really? You're not messing? It's not perfect, but it makes you look almost normal. Sorry I was laughing at you earlier, <laughs> but it was pretty funny. Phew, thanks, Vex. No bother, bro. <laughs> Who did you wavy? Oh, the farmer. Yeah. Hello. 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 Definitely laughing, not roast, isn't it? Also, oh, <coughs> so, uh, Roy, how was school? Yeah, Mara, would you not just give him the pills? Over? The poor young has his photograph yolk in the morning. Fine. <laughs> but you got to finish everything in your plate first. <laughs> This is a huge disaster. Look at me. I took them tablets an hour ago. Or nothing. At all. <sighs> Don't know what to do now. Ma still gonna send me to school, no matter what. And Hammond says I have to be in that class photo. With me, looking like a clown. I've tried doctors, hair dryers, hot baths, everything. Ah, and I'm still stuck like this. Oh, I just want to be normal and fit in like the rest of them. And just as I fit in, I had to go and turn into a clown. Boy, Granny and Grant out here. In a minute, Ma, I'm doing my diary thing. So, anyway, where is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, Ma! Stop shouting, Roy, and come down. I can't move. I'm stuck. <laughs> we know, love. Hurry up and come down. The film is starting. Ah, I'm going like a rover. I can't move. Oh, ah. It's all right, love. It must be the pills starting to work. We, 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 yeah, we, 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 we'll carry them downstairs. You, you, yeah. you, you grab the other I'll, way. I'll take the you grab the other way, love. Keep your head on. Now. Oh, is your face any better? <laughs> oh, yeah! Much better, love. Yeah. I'm sure I reckon if your arms and your, your legs are gone loose, your head will be next. Huh? <laughs> Lads, let me go and watch the film. There's biscuits. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, uh, uh, lovely. Thanks. <clears throat> what happened to your shirt? That wasn't another seagull, was it? Had to be some massive seagull. He was being a big man yesterday, proving he wasn't superstitious. And he walks under the same ladder outside Kennedy's. Your man above dropped the paint. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you 
Could you not just get rid of a day? You look like a homeless person. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling any better, love? Well, we can move my arms and legs again, but my head is still wrong. And my guts are killing me too. Actually, mine's a bit funny too. Ah, please, Ma. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. The photo's going to be brutal. Your stomach's at you. Mine too. Oh. 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 I can't breathe. It smells like pure blood. This is pouring the onions. That flippin' nut roast, I'm sure of it. Don't be stupid, Bill. Well, I'm nearly sure. And it was the roast. My guts have been doing somersaults all week. Oh. I see the wind just changed. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, boys! <laughs> in opening a window. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. You're just oh. disgusting animals, the pair of you. That's just not funny. <laughs> oh, 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 lovely. <laughs> Cartoon. <laughs> Actually, that joke was in here. And who did I hear this morning? You look like a fool. Tell you what, we'll all pull a stupid grin so it looks like we're messing. I'll do my pig nose big teeth. Thanks. I want to see a big smile from everyone. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Much better.